Hey YouTube Eli here showing you today how to clean your RAM. So say your computer crashed like mine did as you can see it's all taken apart there's lots of pieces everywhere um, and I'm running some things right there uh, but say your computer's crashed and you think it might be because of your RAM well maybe your RAM is not working all right um, and you want to clean it. Um, so here's how to clean your RAM. So I've got these tech wipes it says tech and screen um, I pulled one of these out to see kind of what it is, what it feels like, and this thing feels like it has no moisture on it. Um, it looks almost exactly like a napkin or a paper towel, so I don't recommend buying these things. I tried using it to clean my screen, seeing what it did, but it doesn't seem to uh, actually work or do anything at all, so I don't recommend these. Um, if you wanted, you could probably use this to get some fingerprints off. Um, that, or sometimes on your RAM, some of these little connectors might be, um, as you can see, they might be a, a little bit dirty there. Um, so you can use this to uh, to kind of get some of that grime off. Um, or you can also, another good thing to do with your RAM here is check and make sure none of these are like burnt out or look to be fried or anything. Um, just checking to see if you see anything fishy. Um, but is what you can do with these tech wipes if you have some of them is you can just kind of run um, this along these um, connectors uh, to make sure you get all that grime off. Um, another thing, if you have a dust rag like this, you can use a dust rag. It's not going to work quite as well as the um, paper towel like this. But um, the third option is what will actually work best is a can of air. Yes, it's 2017 and you can buy air in a can. Um, just make sure you don't hold it upside down because if you hold it right side up, then that's what it does. Um, it sprays out just air. So as you can see, it's like it's clear. Um, and it only sprays out air, it's condensed air. Um, but if you hold it upside down, then actually it freezes. Um, or even if you hold it sideways, or if you hold it too far this direction. So just be careful of what you're doing with it. Um, I'll show you if you hold it upside down, white stuff will come out like that. Um, and that actually freezes stuff. So here, if I spray this, um, then, well, you probably can't see it very well, but this is getting like frosty um, and it's really cold. So careful what you do with this stuff, but um, to clean my to clean the dust out of my RAM, I am gonna make sure I hold this upright, and then I'm going to spray. Um, I can't do it that well with uh, only one hand, but um, you would spray basically um, in here, um, like on top of the actual on top of the actual motherboard, like um, right in there. You'd spray in there, um, and then make sure you flip it over. Make sure you get the whole thing. Um, and then also another part you want to clean is the actual uh, port where you stick this in. So let's go on a little field trip all the way down. Um, I'll show you inside my actual computer. All right, climbing under the desk here. Down here, ignore my um, land chip sitting there. Well, that one over there is land. There's onboard land. So I can have gig gigabit internet, which is handy. And then here's um, Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi chip. So I have 802.11 AC Wi-Fi in my gaming PC. So here's inside my gaming PC, which is running um, and very dusty as you can see because I'm running it uh, and it has seven fans, but I'm running it without the side open. And here's my RAM. Um, this does stick. Okay, careful. Um, yeah, another thing you might want to shut your PC off uh, before you do this, but mine's running right now. A little buff. Um, so here's where my RAM goes in. There's one stick. The other stick is still in there right now. Um, I took one out so that I could boot off of only half of it, which is eight gigabytes for me. But I'll just show you here. Um, that is your RAM slot in there where your RAM goes. I have four RAM slots. You might only have two or you might have four. But if you're cleaning your RAM, um, you will want to take out both of them. Make sure to clean them both, and then you can just spray in here uh, with your duster thing, and spray out the um, spray out the dust out of the little connectors in there. So let me get a better grip here, and then I will show you. You get up close to it uh, with your little duster, and you just make sure to spray out um, just like that. And there is dust flying everywhere. I, I don't know if you can see it or not, but. So it is doing something and it is helping um, and then that might help with your connection with your RAM um, so that hopefully your computer will not be crashed if anymore if your computer is um, 
if the RAM is the issue. Um, another thing you can try, like I have tried here, is um, I have two sticks of RAM in. Um, make sure, see how one is gray? It goes gray, black, gray, black. Make sure you, if you have two in, um, they're on the alternate ones. Um, you don't want to put them, put them right next to each other. You do want to alternate them like that, alternate them in pairs. Um, and then also another thing you can, if your computer's crashed, this is just bonus information for you. If your computer's crashed, um, you can disconnect the peripherals. So that's why I've taken out, um, I've taken out the Wi-Fi because I don't need Wi-Fi for my, to see if my computer will turn on or not. I don't need LAN, so I took that out um, and I unplugged a bunch of things. So I have my Blu-ray burner right there. I unplugged that, as you can see, it's unplugged. Um, I have my my uh, media thing right there. I unplugged that. Um, I have a hard drive here and then I have a um, SAT, uh, SSD that's below it there. Um, and this one is my SSD. Let me show you down there. See my SSD back there? Um, that's what I'm booting off of. So I actually disconnected this one. Um, you can disconnect all, so all sorts of things that your computer doesn't need to run. Um, your computer does need the CPU. You can disconnect some of these fans though. As you can see, I disconnected that one. Um, and now it wants to turn back on. Um, you will need your GPU though, unless your uh, motherboard has onboard RAM. Um, another thing you can try, more bonus information is moving your SATA cables. These are SATA here. Um, you can move them from one port. It says which port it is right there. Um, and when you load up your BIOS, you can look and see which port um, which port your um, your hard drives are running off of. So you can just change the ports then. So mine were all um, like over here in these two and I just literally moved them over, over one. Um, and that could be like if your port has gone bad, if you had like a power surge, lightning strike, um, static electricity, there's a number of reasons your port could go bad. And then you could also change your CMOS. Here's your CMOS battery. You can take that out, clear it, wait like three to five minutes and put it back in. Um, or you can reset your CMOS by, there's a little pin here um, right there. You probably can't see it right now, but it's a little pin and you just um, short it by taking a piece of metal and sticking it there. Um, and that could help also. And that'll reset your BIOS. Um, so only clear, only reset your BIOS if, uh, if you um, think that actually might help. Uh, if not, you might mess up some BIOS settings or you could save an old profile. Um, so yeah, that is how to clean your RAM. Thanks for watching.